a Guinness. I'm one of those girls that absolutely loves a dark stout. Welcome. In today's video, we are talking about things that I love. So when I was coming up with this video, going through my fragrance collection, I realized there are certain notes that my nose loves. So if you are a fragrance collector as well, maybe you could do this and it will help you maybe like tunnel vision a little bit more. I know we all have different reasons why we collect. Some people like to have an eclectic collection. Some people's whole collection smells the same. Everyone's different, but do this little exercise. It might teach you a little bit more about your own fragrance collection. So with that being said, let's just get into it and grab and go. Let me bring them closer. Yes, ready. Let's start with Timeless by Avon. Love this fragrance. It's only five pounds. I was perusing the Avon catalog and I just told myself, okay, it's five pounds IJ, could be worse. Just get it and see how you feel about it. I love, I fell in love immediately. I smelt it. Let me just spray a little because this bottle is new beautiful it's warm it's spicy there's aldehydes that make it really bright i've said this over and over again i'll keep saying it it reminds me of a warm day the sun is bright the there's somebody in the garden the flowers have just been cut there's a freshness in the air yet there's a warmth it's just a beautiful beautiful fragrance warm green bright that's what I describe it as it just it was love at first smell I just didn't expect it it's a floral shipper and there's some gardenia and jasmine and there's amber and musk in it and patchouli really really nice definitely worth getting very uh, would I say grown woman well 20s and above maybe somebody younger will not appreciate this as much but anyone can wear anything they want point blank period but this is nice this is timeless by avon i love at first sniff one is bahoma london oris and vetiva now i bought this because the name of the fragrance is very very <laughs> it tells you what it is Oris and Vetiva and I thought okay let me buy it so I can learn those notes and see if they're notes that I like and they are I, I love Oris and Vetiva and this fragrance did that for me do I love this fragrance in particular not really I find it rather linear it has quite a few notes but I feel like the Oris and the Seda and the Vetiva and the resins really drown everything else it's not it's not an elegantly made fragrance but the oris the vetiva i repeat really really nice i i fell in love with that i fell in love with the notes not particularly the fragrance i absolutely love this and it's on my on my to-do list my fragrance to-do list to find some more oris and vetiva fragrances because on my skin they become very sweet um almost neutral they don't lean too feminine they don't lean masculine just just my kind of style just a bit of a spiciness it just works but this also has a bit of citrus which once again i say it gets drowned out by the base um there's mandarin and neroli in the top and there is a bit of vanilla making it a bit sweet but it's beautiful it's not the fragrance that I fell in love with. It's that it was that Oris and it was that Vetiva that I fell in love with. Next up is a Sabarite by Komusi. Komuchi. I'm not yet sure how to say that, but it is well. This is a British niche house that I found while I was trolling on Instagram. And I just love the aesthetic. And I told myself, go and grab a bottle. This... I opened it and I was immediately transported to a green, peppery, cold, bright forest. And I was walking barefoot as well and I was just feeling myself. It just took me to that fantasy immediately. Such a forest green 
situation and I just fell in love with it immediately. Mm, there's black pepper, there's orange, there's neroli and cedar as well, patchouli and birch. There's vanilla as well, making it a little bit sweet. Just, just a stunner. Elegantly made. This is beautifully made and I cannot wait to get more from this house. I just, ah, uh, Sabarite, quality, 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 quality. Next is Asian Provocateur, Lo Ojeant. This is a stunner. I smelt it. Let me spray it. Let me find a paper to spray on. Is there something? Ah, we are lucky. Beautiful. Beautiful. The Ylang Ylang really shines in this one. And this tuberose and osmanthus and... There's that patchouli, there's mask, there's incense. When I smelled this, I thought, oh, does that have berries? Because the florals in this are almost juicy, just really well done. And that incense just gives it that little edge. You know, this is not a small girl floral. This is a grown woman floral. And this is how I like florals to be done. Oh, she's a stunner. I need a backup bottle. It's on the list of backup bottles, but Le Jeant uh, by Asian Provocateur, she's a stunner. Mmm, so good. Next is an oldie, but a goodie. This is Paradox by Pierre Cardin. This is another Chipper. Um, I have quite a few Chipper's in my collection. That's another family of fragrances I've found that I really gravitate towards. But anyway, Paradox is smoky. She's another grown ass floral. She's, um, what is she? She's leather, in a club, drinking, having a good time. I smelled her and I knew, yeah, I love her. I really, really love her. There's tuberous in this, there's hyacinth, there's oak moss, which is also one of my favorite notes. There's leather, there's incense pepper and amber if you can't tell i'm like pulling out similar similar notes pepper amber mask cedar patchouli those are the things that my nose really loves but yeah i love paradox very grown girl definitely i don't see anyone younger getting away with this but anyone can wear what they want period <laughs> but yeah paradox i absolutely love i have a backup bottle just really surprised me. I didn't see that one coming. She is a stunner. Next up, another Chipper. This is uh, Jean Cotier Coriant. <sighs> when I first smelled this, you know what I thought about? Money. And I like money. I love money. <laughs> this is comfortable rich auntie old auntie auntie in her 40s 50s and she has all the classics in her collection she got her chanel she got her coriand by her side um just 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 a stunner the coriander in this of course is the one of the most dominant notes is aldehydes another one of my favorite notes it's also a floral, of course, so there's lots of rose, there's gerenia, milangilang, lily, jasmine, and the classic mask patchouli. Astana, Astana, and there's also some civet in this. So it just gives it that really grown woman vibe. <sighs> just, just, money, uh huh, money. <laughs> Last and certainly not least, this is Kenzo Le Offense. <sighs> Immediately I smelled this, I was taken back home to when I was a young child. A hot, well-spiced, lowly brewed tea, lots of milk, lots of tea masala. That's exactly what this gives me. 
absolutely love it it's a spice bomb quite literally this clove this cumin this caraway this cardamom cardamom is also one of my most favorite spices not just to wear but also to eat there's vanilla as well in this just just a stunner oh, so good so, oh so good so good and the bottle the, the bottle just ah uh, get it together that's my love at first sniff list i'm happy i've just spent a little bit of time with some of my most favorite perfumes and sipping on one of my favorite drinks it's a good day <laughs> thank you so much for being here my name is ijoma and i am the ij behind skin by ij i'll see you soon